Good morning children. Hope you are fine today. We will be learning on how to speak politely. Politely means you have to speak very nicely and kindly. So let's begin. You can listen, repeat and also act it out. Here we have a picture of a girl named Ashwini and her mother whom she calls Ai. Some of you must be calling your mother Ai cause we call mummy Ai in Marathi. So let us see how Ashwini speaks to her Ai. Ashwini May I go out to play Ai? I answers, yes you may. So children, how does Ashwini speak? She speaks very politely. She uses the word, may I. She does not scream that she wants to go out to play. And because she is speaking so nicely, I allows her to go out to play. So what do we learn from this? That you should speak very politely when you want something. Now let's see another example. Here we have Ashwini talking to her Baba. Baba means her father. Now let's see how she speaks to him. Now Ashwini says, Baba! I want to eat a piece of cake. May I? Yes, you may. But after dinner and then brush your teeth. Okay, Baba. So children, did you see how she spoke to her Baba? Again, she asked her Baba for cake very politely using the words, May I? And also, did you notice that when Baba said, not now, later, did she cry for it? No, she listened to her Baba and said, okay Baba. So what do we learn here? We should always listen to our elders. One more question over here. Why should you brush your teeth? Correct. When you have your dinner and also eat sweets like cake, you should always brush your teeth or there will be germs attacking your teeth. So after eating, remember to brush your teeth. Now let's see the next example. Here we have another girl called Mohini. As you can see, Mohini has come to the zoo. But to enter the zoo and see the animals, Mohini has to buy some tickets. So how does she speak to the uncle? Mohini says, May I have two tickets please? And the ticket seller uncle replies back, Yes, you may. Here they are. So children, can you see? Mohini has spoken very politely to uncle. Again, she has used the words, May I? So what do we learn here? That even when we go out and speak to new people, we should respect them and speak very politely to them. Now let's see the next example. Here we have a boy called Sham. And Sham is come to a garden. Here you can see Sham talking to the gardener. Who is the gardener children? Correct. A gardener is a man 
who takes care of the garden. Let us see how Sham speaks to the gardener uncle. Sham says, May I pluck those flowers? Gardener uncle says, Sorry, you may not. So can you see children? Sham has used the word, May I? He is taking permission. And gardener uncle told him, Sorry, you can't pluck those flowers. Why did he say that children? Yes, because flowers are also living things. So we should not destroy them. So when you go out to the garden, please remember not to pluck flowers or break leaves of the plant. You should take care of the plants. Now here we have an example of two girls in school. Their names are Tina and Rina. Now let us see how Tina and Rina speak to each other. Tina May I borrow your pencil? Rina says Yes, sure. Here it is. And Tina replies back. Thank you, Rina. So children, can you see? Tina and Rina are speaking so politely and kindly with each other. When they want something of theirs, they ask them first. And only if the person allows you, then you should take it. So what do we learn here? That we should also talk politely to our friends or to our brothers and sisters. Now children, let us see how we should speak politely in different ways. Can you see the questions that I have written on top? May I? Can I? So when you want something, you should ask politely using these questions. You could also use the word please. Let us read this now. When I want something, sometimes I forget to ask nicely. I say things like, give me that and reach out for what I want. It is rude to act like that. People will not want to help me if I don't ask nicely. I need to ask politely so people will answer me. So what do you understand from this children? That whenever you want something, always ask for it very politely and nicely. Sometimes we have the habit of snatching things or pulling things or even taking things without asking that person. This is wrong children. Always remember, when you want something, ask for it politely. Let's carry on. I can ask nicely, like, Excuse me, can you please give me that? Then, I wait for them to answer. Before I reach for something. So children, remember, when you ask someone for something, always wait for their answer. Then when they answer and allow you, you could take that thing. Now read the last line. 
when i am polite people will want to help me and i will be happy so children when you are polite you make the person in front of you also happy and you also become happy so always have good manners that's all for today children so i hope you learned that you should always have good manners you should be polite and kind if you want something always ask for the thing and wait till the person allows you always listen to your elders now children after you have learned this you can also speak to your parents in this manner and you will see how happy you will make them thank you children have a nice day